Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful pond, um, and it's called Mill Creek Trail near my house. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Isaiah 42 verse 6. It says, You will be a light to guide the nations. Here's my poem. Let your light shine. When you commit your life to Jesus Christ, you are expecting to shine your light. He is the one who guides all nations. He makes you strong to fight temptations. When you make God first in your life, you will definitely walk in His light. He shines His glorious radiance on you. He wants to exude it to others too. Here's my essay. One of the ways that a true believer is apparent is how they live their lives. You can see how they manifest the true fruits of the Spirit, such as love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's from Galatians 5.22. One of the best ways we can attract others to Jesus is by living a life of integrity, obedience to His will, and faithful devotion to seeking His truth. In John 1 verse 5, we know that the light exposes darkness as it shines through it. Darkness cannot hide in the light. Even just a tinge of light will compromise the total blackness of it. All believers are commissioned by God to preach the good news and to make disciples of all nations. When we obey His commands and spread His word, we are the light that guide all nations. And we are also manifesting the true character of the Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer. Lord, let me always shine to so bright for you. Reflection. Who have you brought to Jesus through exuding Christ's character in your life? I have a few people who have been coming uh, to see me because they are attracted with uh, how I am uh, living my life in, in the truth and how I am spreading the good news. Uh, through these videos that I've been doing for six straight years every day, I think that there are some people I don't really know who who um, views my video or reads my my um, poetry devotionals that I post every day on Facebook, on YouTube, on t Twitter, on LinkedIn. Uh, but sometimes I would get um, an email from somebody I don't know, and uh, they tell me that something uh, they got something out of the d devotions and it's amazing to um, know that because when that happens I know that I am able to shine for Jesus uh, there's uh, one friend uh, who I met from from through the devotions that I made she actually um, emailed me one day and said that she would like to be able to get my devotions. Um, actually, there's uh, two people who did that, and at first I was just giving them the devotions until eventually I became, um, I haven't seen them face to face, but we call each other and we uh, message each other. So one of them I also give Bible studies to on online or on the phone. So it's amazing that even if I am not near them, I am able to still uh, shine for them. Even if they don't really see me in person, they watch the videos and they see and they get to know me through the testimonies of how what God has done in my life. So I invite you, let your light shine for Jesus because um, that is the only way that we will be able to let others know about His power, glory, grace, and mercy. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs.
please pray for me and my husband. Today is our anniversary, August the 1st, and we're going nine years this year. And um, pray that we will be able to continue to make God the center of our marriage so that it will last forever. Thanks for watching again. God loves you.